What's going on, Nerd Army guys? Welcome to the newest episode of Nerds Marize. Today we will be doing a review for Injustice 2, the DC Comics fighting game that has swept the nation. We get to venture back to the Injustice universe where we get to see Superman as a tyrannical dictator who was actually defeated and locked up, but he is a tyrannical dictator who would rather see villains go in body bags rather than behind bars. And this shit doesn't fly with Batman. Even though Batman's son, Damien, who is the fourth Robin, he actually traded on his father to join Superman's cause and is locked up right alongside the Kryptonian. Now the fight mechanics in this game have been improved upon since the predecessor in 2013 of Injustice Gods Among Us. They have improved a lot of the different combo features and some of the different mechanics all around. It has a lot of great interactable items throughout different stages and transfers in between stages, which make the gameplay a lot of fun. Not to mention the combos are insane and so many different great combo feats and different combo styles that you can do. This game just is hard to top. So the story mode in this game basically, like I said, Superman is locked up by Batman in a Red Sun prison where his powers are suppressed when Brainiac attacks. But we get to see Supergirl, who was there at the last moments of Krypton, and Brainiac was the reason that it broke apart and was destroyed. He attacked the world and killed everyone. So Supergirl remembers Brainiac's attack, and basically what happens with Superman behind bars, Brainiac starts to attack, and the shit storm ensues. So the remaining members of Superman's regime reluctantly work with Batman and the heroes to stop Brainiac from destroying the entire world. Because regardless of what side you're on, the world ending is no good for anybody. But Superman ultimately goes too far and pushes back into that dark mentality that he has developed and decides he's going to start killing all the villains instead of giving them a chance. And all of this coming down to not allowing him to kill Brainiac. Now, there's a lot of great features in this game, such as the multiverse feature, which is a lot of fun. You get to go and fight all random costume, random superheroes and villains from different worlds, and the story modes and everything that kind of run along with those are really, really cool. And it's awesome because it constantly changes. Every world is only there for so long, so you're constantly fighting new layouts and new groups of villains and new challenges. Now, one great thing that this game did do is that they gave you full customization of your superhero, which is awesome. So you can go and get tons of different masks, armors, outfits, arms, legs, all the different parts of your superheroes from different time frames, styles, stories, and they all have different bonuses, different everything. So basically giving everyone the ultimate chance to fully customize all your characters the way you want them. And you can do multiple layouts and loadouts of your character so you can select which one you want to fight for this particular fight and move along, which makes the game a lot more fun. I've spent many, many hours on this game and I've live streamed through most of the story mode and a lot of online just grinding. This game is a lot of fun and it is a fan favorite. Everyone loves this game. It's so great and I've had an amazing time with it. Overall, I'm going to give this game an A. This game is awesome, just a lot of fun to play with, and it really doesn't get old. It just stays fresh in your mind, and I really do enjoy every minute of playing it. Let me know what you guys think about Injustice 2 down in the comments down below, and let me know, do you guys enjoy the game? Do you think it's overrated? What is your opinion? And also, guys, while you're down there, go down to the description and check out our Patreon account. Become a patron to get a chance at exclusive content. When you become a patron, you also get full access to our patreon exclusive discord server where you can come and talk to us and help influence the direction that all the future content on the channel goes so guys let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments down below what is your grade for injustice 2 and make sure you guys subscribe to keep up with the channel and i will see you next time right here on nerds rise for another review